England, Scotland, and France. I mean, she's in a really tricky position where she is the queen of two different countries and does want to do her best by both of them. And to be a good wife, which I think is going to be kind of tricky, considering her husband is like one of my best friends and uh, got her pregnant. Which is always awkward. with her best friend instead of staying with her to help deal with a nation wrapped with plague. I'm an impulsive guy. I mean, yeah, clearly. But uh, <laughs> I'm really interested to see uh, her trying to wrest power away from Queen Catherine now that she's also the Queen of France. Um, I think that's going to be really interesting and uh, I know we're going to have some Protestant Catholic political uh, tension coming up in future episodes, so there's, there's a lot to deal with in this particular season. Um, not only being Queen of Scotland, being Queen of France, being a good wife, resisting the urge to kill her best friend and her child. Uh, being a good friend too, being protective of your lady. Trying to rise above it. Yeah. Trying to rise above all of it and do the right thing and still manage to keep the land from devouring itself in the wake of the plague. Uh, so the Catherine Mary dynamic was absolutely one of my favorites. I think that kind of the tension and then sometimes that you would all of a sudden be on the same side, but maybe only for like 10 minutes. Um, it was really fun. What, what will the dynamic be like this season, given that now everybody should have Francis and Francis's best interests at heart? Well, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go, but I think so far, even relating back to what we just talked about, Mary now actually has something more in common with Catherine than she did before, because of course I know what it's like to have a husband and has a bastard child. Mm -hmm. So Mary is now being introduced into another dynamic of the reality of the difference between men and women in power in this time, and the rules are not the same for the genders. So I think that's something in a way that actually will, for me, I feel it gives me somewhat of an empathy for her. But again, because it's not, there isn't enough always power to go around, there's always that struggle to, to maintain it. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm very so protective of my sons and my children. But all your sons, not just Francis, I think yeah. the entire Belle Line. You know, that's that's many, Catherine. many children. Because yeah. that's yeah. how I'm going to live through my sons and their heirs, and that's the dynamic that Mary is now facing. So um, it would make a really interesting dinner table conversation, <laughs> if you just imagine. <laughs> So, 